If you find that with the with the driver, you are um, either misstriking it, so topping it or getting underneath it, or you've got this kind of massive spray pattern, then this is an exercise well worth doing on the driving range. Now, it's a, it's a drill I've worked with a, a lot with students over the years uh, and had good success with. So with regards to getting the right strike, I, I would definitely advise you have a few swings to just the tee peg. And of course, to strike the driver well and out the middle of the face, we're trying to hit the tee about halfway up. Now, I've not met a golfer yet who can't do that fairly comfortably with a big swing, be able to sweep the tee. When the ball's involved, for some reason that gets a little bit more challenging. Um, maybe they try and hit it too hard or, or lose focus on the tee. So that's the first part of the drill. Get good at sweeping the tee. And, and we've, got that, um, we've got that drill elsewhere on the website. Now, here comes the more interesting part. The exercise then would be to hit a few um, swings, half swings with the driver, and try and knock the ball between a couple of posts out on the driving range. Now, I've got my hockey stick to try and just demonstrate what I mean by half swing here. If you've got this massive kind of spray on the ball, either a big slice or hooks going on, we know that the face is definitely not coming back square. Now, with the driver, as with the other clubs, the last thing we want to be doing is to be trying to square the face as one kind of last ditch um, effort. Let's see if we can get the face square earlier. So in my back swing, I've got the face slightly turned down. So again, I'm only making half swings. And from there, I'll be using my legs to create the power and get this kind of sweeping motion through the ball and deliver a, a square club face. And as I say, I try and make a, a bit of a game of it um, by aiming between a couple of posts, depending on, on your skill level. I think it's probably helpful to go down the bottom of the handle as well. Remember, the, the aim of the game really is to see if we can improve the way that you sweep the ball uh, and also improve your, your face control. So let's make it as easy as possible to start with. Down the bottom of the handle, can I sweep this ball between a couple of posts? Now, we're not going to have massive club speeds, so the ball's not going to go very high. It's probably only going to fly 100 yards. Where's my goal? Oh, there it is over there. Oh, just missed, just missed the left post. Okay, let's try that again. Now you'll notice as I, as I do the exercise, although it's only a half swing, I am fully rotating my body through the shot. It's not a motion whereby we're just gonna kinda prod, it, prod at it and, and swing the arms past. That's not the aim of the game. The aim of the game is to rotate the body, keeping the club square, and get the club sweeping through the ball. Right. Okay, there's my target. Oh, that one's coming back. Okay, that one's in my target. So I would do maybe, I'd hit maybe 10 balls and see if I can get, I don't know, five, five or six through my, through my goal and build it up from there. So the aim is to create a sweeping motion that um, has a more consistent strike and regain control of the club face. So it's all about um, building confidence. And of course, once you've got that going, you can then start to extend the swing and make it a bit bigger again. If you've enjoyed this video, then please click subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with more coaching information. And if you really want to take your game to the next level, then please visit my website, golfcoach.online, where you'll see there my subscription channel, which is Golf Coach Access, which is all about building a golf coaching and education community and having really structured long-term programs. And the best thing is you can get immediate free access.